Okay, now we're going to embed your beautiful story map into an assignment page on your Google site so that you've got everything in your portfolio. Um, first thing you want to do is make sure that everything's published. So push all of this to the public. Make sure that that's live. Um, you will find out quickly if it's not. So publishing and then congratulations. Okay, so over in Google, um, you'll want to create um, a separate page for your story map or your web mapping, whatever you want to title this assignment. Um, and we are going to insert and embed. We want to embed um, some code, some HTML code, so that your, your um, story map is active on your Google site. So to do that, we need embed code, right? So the HTML code goes here. You're going to get it on Canvas. So go into the assignment page in the instructions and carefully copy this by Control C. And then we're going to embed that here, Control V. The iframe is the code that you need. We're setting the width and height to 100% so it fills the frame. Um, the source is what you need to change. This HTTPS storymaps.arcgis.com needs to point to your story map. So highlight this, everything within the quotation marks and on your story, that's what you're gonna pull here. So you wanna make sure that you are looking at a preview or you're not in an editing session, so get yourself out of there. So example, if I'm editing, you wanna to go to preview. And that's gonna get you, well, uh, preview is probably not what you want. I would get rid of that. Okay, and then you're gonna copy your HTTPS, go in here and replace this with one that's gonna to point to your website, your story map, I should say. Okay. Here you should see a preview of your story map, and if you don't, if you've got a gray panel with a frowny face or something like that, it means you haven't published your story map correctly. Hit insert, and then you can resize this to fill your page, um, like that. Let's see here. Okay, um, and then I'm going to preview this. And you can see that I can scroll through everything that I've built on my story map. But on your Google site, you're going to want to, as you normally would, provide text context for what's going on here. So what was this lab assignment about? It was about building a story map. What's the reason for doing that? You know, what's the power of a story map? Um, and you might want to provide the uh, link to your story map so people can view it independent of your Google site. But this way, everything's all together in one place. Um, and as always, just make sure everything's published and you're good to go.